chug chug if the answer to those questions is yes then you are in luck because today we are taking a look at the Bogner Ubershaw Ultra the Ubershaw Ultra is the latest of the Bogner Ubershaws and it's really like every Ubershaw that was and that could be all rolled into one it's sort of like a workstation for your mega chunk kind of amp uh, and I'll explain because there are some controls that you might need a little uh, little extra explanation for but the good news is that at almost all the settings it's going to go jung 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 and it's super fun to play the quick specs rundown is it's an EL34 amp however there are other versions there's kt 88 there's a version that has KT88 and EL34s and you can like get the best out of both inside there. You can see here from the foot switch, it is a two channel amp, channel switching, boost. There's a second master volume, which could come in handy if you wanna just get up and over the band or take a solo spot. And then the switchable effects loop in the back. It is 100 watts with the EL34s, 120 watts with KT88s, and it is loud, especially if you're going through an Uber cab, which I got over there. Uh, that's a combination of V30s and G12T75. Everything I was doing, I'm more leaning on the V30. That's a sound I really know. Uh, some of it has a little of the other blended in, but it's mostly V30, but the cab sounds awesome. It's tight and punchy, as is the head. I'll explain more of the switches and functions as we listen to it. It's only gonna make sense that way. Let's dive in. The Ubershaw Ultra has three modes per channel. Channel two has crunch, which is more of like a late 70s kind of crunch mode. The Uber mode, classic Uber shawl, and Ultra, which has another gain stage. It's got all the gain. So let's just stick with Uber for a minute and let me show you that. Yeah. 
you'll see here channel two has three pre-EQ modes. That's sort of how tight or how loose the general vibe is gonna be. Uh, this is focus, it sort of feels like it pushes the mids forward and tightens out the bottom. <laughs> Bright tightens things up a little more and makes it brighter. And the award for the best name goes to Doom, which loosens the bottom a bit and just makes everything warmer. It's actually really great for leads, but um, I wouldn't want him to change the name to lead. I, I like Doom. The Titan fat switches are attached to the metamorph knob. As you turn the metamorph knob to the left, it will get tighter, or if you switch it to fat mode, it will get fatter. So I'm going back to focus mode, and I'll turn that knob. So now you've heard it got so tight that the gain goes away. Never fear, there's an endless supply of gain here. It really is not a problem. Let's pull that back a bit, go to ultra mode and get a lot of gain and really tight. This really allows you to dial in a tight bottom end on anything, no matter how many strings or extended range uh, you have in your instrument. Fat mode works similarly. I prefer that for leads, you know, if you're gonna go to doom and fat mode. So we got doom and fat back to Uber. That's a bit tubby for, you know, tight chunks, but for lead stuff, it's really smooth and you still have lots of gain on channel one if you want to separate a tight chunk and then a really smooth lead as well. Just keep that in mind. Jumping to crunch, crunch, I'm gonna stay on doom. Uh, metamorph, I'm putting in the kind of the middle here and let's gain back, let's see where we're at. <laughs> it's like a totally different amp, right? that weren't enough, Channel 2 still has the boost available. And looking at the power amp side of the amp, over here we have presence, depth, and density. I keep wanting to think it's destiny. Density, as well as the presence EQ switch that has three modes of where the presence is working from. There's the OO with the, the U with the umlaut. That, you set the knobs there to do the classic Ubershaw mode. Then there's hair and hair plus, which shifts the frequency of the presence knob. 
I'm in hair and I, I like that because I could get the knobs. They all are at like one o'clock and everything feels really good and balanced. So that feels like a nice place to me. But you have more options with the U in hair plus. Let's take a listen to the presence a little bit. Depth is that low end, just power. <laughs> the depth is dangerously addictive. You could just go off the charts with that. Density is an interesting control. To the left, it's more uh, in your face and sort of 3D and more full and round. And to the right, the sound sort of pushes back. It's as if it gets really serious and mean as you turn up the density control. <laughs> Now, obviously that takes some tweaking. Uh, it's a quick control actually, if you feel like you're just a little too harsh to just back it off. Let's switch to hair plus. <laughs> has a little bit of a more scooped, a little more strangely scooped and smoother feel, uh, kind of like maybe old uh, Mark series sort of things where you can get that scooped EQ going. Uh, and going over to the Uber Shell mode is gonna require us to really drastically change things. <laughs> Let's go to channel one. Yeah, there's still channel one. Channel one has an Ubershaw mode as well. So that's where I was saying you could set up channel two really for big smooth leads or a, a huge round sound. Channel one is still can crush balls. Channel one also has a crunch, and you need to bring the volume down because there's a bit of a boost. And you still have that channel boost. Clean goes from broken up to crystal clear.
This is the evolution of the Ubershaw from Bogner Amplification. Uh, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, so I can bring you some more cool stuff like this, right? This is pretty awesome. Thank you for watching, y'all. See you later.